you know that uh, this appli these applications can be developed from the base, and they need to, at the end of the they should be integrated to each other very well. Le uh, I'm explaining about the uh, entities that you know, lecturer, student, and uh, subject, for example, our course. And now here it's the idea of this. Uh, uh, this uh, information architecture, you can see here, for example, uh, the, uh, the subject or course and their, uh, their, uh, their whole relationship together. Uh, you can see that uh, the primary key uh, in subject is subject ID as it's uh, auto, auto number primary key. And the course is uh, uh, primary key is course ID that it's related to each other by having a foreign key, uh, primary key relationship. Uh, I'm not sure that it's very clear <laughs> because it's uh, some complicated. Uh, but um, uh, I think that it's necessary to uh, how these relationships and to be sure that the whole system can uh, carry out the goals of the system and can be sure that the data is integrated and uh, be useful for the goal of the organization. Okay, now uh, my friend uh, uh, is up. We'll continue about the uh, numbers and figures. <laughs> Thank you. So the the six, huh? yes, I should six application architecture. Yeah. Application architecture. Instead of overview. Oh yeah. Yours is uh, information architecture. Okay, information architecture. I should uh, change the title. And then the application uh, description, the function must be clearer. More clear. Uh, okay. What the system uh, can do in yeah. order to solve the business function. I should elaborate it more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But I don't need it there. Good afternoon, Professor. Good afternoon, my colleagues. Um, I'm the final presenter. I'm going to present on um, the seventh section, which is implementation strategy. Um, this section is to clarify the IT strategy plan implementation plan for the next five years, which is between 2012 to 2016. Um, it presents the steps to be taken by the faculty in terms of preparing the organization and development of IT product implementation schedule and the estimated costs of implementation as required by the faculty. As for the activities to be taken based on the importance of planned activities undertaken to set out this report, which can be implemented successfully. Um, 7.2 is on the list of activities to be taken in order to implement the IS plan. The first one is restructuring the existing information technology organization. The second one is enhance the functionality of existing applications, implementing enterprise business process analysis, implementing IT product development activities as scheduled. We have um, a schedule for the next five years, which are going to comprise of activities to implement projects. Um, here is a bit of um, explanation about the activity restructuring the existing information technology organization. Information and communication technology ICT has a responsibility and a major challenge in ensuring that all objectives are achieved, particularly in supporting the vision and mission of the faculty. This goal could be achieved through a structured organization, adequate and competent staff, and collaboration with management. Existing organization will be expanded to make it more robust and more effective. <coughs> the second one, which is enhance the faculty for the functionality of existing applications. The existing applications which they have that they are using, we are going to see the capabilities and also where they lack um, <coughs> functionality. So, in order to enhance them and also make them more functional and usable for the uh, Organization and also implementing enterprise business process analysis, which is like um, more to the previous activity. 
we're going to see analyze the current situation and also the future situation which we want to achieve then try to see what and what are the goals we are going to set for ourselves to actually achieve them then uh, implementing the IT project development activities as scheduled um, here is going to talk about um, how <coughs> we are going to see this project and how um, of bet and what benefits they are to us. The first um, category which I are going to look at is these projects, their importance to the organization. And also the second one is the importance of the um, of the technology to the organization. Then Based on application category, we have categorized them into two sections, which is the application core and also the supporting applications. The application core are the main applications which directly support the business functions of the organization. And the application support, there are applications which are going to use to enhance the productivity of the organization. Then we have a, um, a framework which we are going to use to implement these um, <coughs> activities. The first one is the basic setup, improvement, information infrastructure, beginning enhanced services, integrated operating environment. Then we come to the almost, um, then we come to information technology strategic plan implementation schedule. This schedule is going to show us how we intend to um, develop and also implement these projects which we are going to, which we earlier um, explained. Then the implementation cost. This is the cost which we forecast to incur during the next five years in trying to implement our ISP. The cost in total is two million one hundred and seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-five million units. The first um, application, which is the executive information system, we have um, a grand total for the year, which is for the whole um, application. To, to be 133,275 million um, thousand We have the second one, which is the performance management system. Then we have the third one, financial management system. These ones are the core applications. Then the office automation system. complaint management system, the asset and maintenance management system, the graduation management system, the audit management system, the asset and module, maintenance module, restructuring the existing information technology of the region, what is going to cost us. The enterprise business process analysis, what is going to cost the change management plan. And here is the, the schedule for the next five years and a high level overview of it. This explains um, the cost we are going to incur according to years from the first year to the last year, which is 2016. And then at the bottom, we have the total cost for every every year. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. The total cost is the total development cost different. Total development cost and the total cost. No, um, the total development cost, you have to sum up all these five before you can get the other Okay. Uh, what well you got things there? <laughs> what about the uh, implementation schedule? 
the gun chat? Um, gun chat, uh, because I think because from the manual you gave us, we don't have, I didn't see a gun chat, so I thought it was not um, really oh, yeah. included. This is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> But in the gacha, you you have to report the the whole the time okay, time and time test for each project. Okay, I think uh, <laughs> uh, basically everything is there and. Uh, Hopefully you develop this one in a team yeah. mode. Uh, everybody knows what everybody is doing, you know. Uh, and uh, everyone is appreciating what uh, other members are doing. Okay. Not zero, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, and if that is the case, then I think uh, it's a good uh, exercise, you know. Yeah. To understand how we develop and unprepare. Obviously, we are not expecting a, 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 a good plan because of uh, many constraints. But as long as uh, everything is there, then I think uh, to me is good enough. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You want to ask anything? Before we... <laughs> so, uh, how about the report? Huh? The report. Report. Uh, I think not yet because uh, you are busy uh, preparing uh, exam and probably other things. Uh, I just uh, commented what should be improved. Uh, uh, I think this is good enough. Did you commented uh, send by email or what? Sorry. The commented uh, comment uh, the report. Uh, is it? I already uh, uh, just, yeah, now. Yeah, just okay. now. Uh, in the very major comments. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I assume that uh, you don't have much time. Mm -hmm. So I don't comment some details. Because I assume uh, if you are given time, I'm sure you are able to do it uh, a better mm -hmm. document. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Then, uh, what should we expect for the final exam? Exam, huh? Okay. Uh, I see, I have an exam paper here. Yeah. Exam paper? But this is the uh, SDA. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe. A system it's like development application. Okay. Yeah. Anybody taking SDA? Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're taking SDA. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to read for uh, moderation. <laughs> Uh, you, you can clearly need yeah. students inside into the classroom. Sorry? You can provide students inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the structure, I'm, I'm not supposed to give you, mm. but the structure of the LDA is a... Uh, Prof. Sami told you already? No. No. What? The structure is a bit uh, different. Short questions. Uh, 20 questions. 20? <laughs> 20 questions. Short questions. 40 hours. Yeah? For SDA? SDA. 20 questions. Huh? 20. Uh, sure. 3 hours. 3 hours. Huh? 3 hours. How many hours? The paper? Uh, 2.5 hours. Oh. 2.5 hours. Okay, uh, my paper uh, one question from the Mampu guideline so thick one question I will ask you about, uh, I just want to test about your understanding about the process. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not not too much into the detail. The we shouldn't go no, no, no. the this. <laughs> just, I just want to know whether you understand the activities. Uh, short description, don't write too long. Because, 
I don't like to read, you know, a lot. <laughs> Difficult for me to search the point. Uh, is it you can uh, answer using point form? Can, okay. of course, can. Uh, and then uh, there will be uh, one of the questions will contain a question on SWOT. One question, question one, there will be A, B, C. So one of the is SWOT. Then, uh, like how it's related, Marco or? Sorry? What, what do you mean on SWOT? You, you want us to like uh, develop a SWOT? No, 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 no. Just understanding about SWOT. Understanding about whether you know how to Not, not, not given a scenario and then you develop a strategy using SWOT, not like that. Okay. Just to That's get your knowledge about SWOT. And then the others are uh, asking about uh, uh, your understanding about the uh, anti plan. More on the first few chapters. So not very difficult. So, so what should we study? Uh, what should we focus on? Uh, basically all. <laughs> <laughs> chapter, of course, uh, chapter 1, 2, 3, I think they are talking about introduction. Mm -hmm. 4 is Mampu, one question. And then uh, there's another chapter about SWAT. Mm -hmm. okay. That's all. Awesome. There's no change management question. Mm -hmm. uh, and pro uh, IT project management? No IT project management. Uh, the, the introduction, we should study that one too? Sorry? The three chapters on the introduction. Yeah. I mean, the introduction is quite uh, common sense. So the introduction, the macro framework, and the SWOT. Yeah. Uh, For questions, it? Four huh? questions? Huh? Together or many questions? Four questions. Four questions. And you want short answers and all of Short them? answers. Brief and step to the point. Not <laughs> 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 okay, If you, if you uh, make it open book, then it will be set to the point exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. So even the intel. Then you have to memorize all the tasks. Yeah. Uh, I don't expect exactly from the slides. It's from your understanding. From the bamboo. Yeah. Okay. For example, like. Uh, Uh, how do you perform? Do you know Mampu? Mampu. Mampu. Yeah. For example, like uh, here, okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> 
So in the internet, you find one, the material whether it is good or bad, doesn't matter. Because actually, uh, I want you to present. Everyone present what you found. Yeah. So that you can see the differences between the quality and expectation of one ISP and another ISP. But we don't have the opportunity to do that. Actually, the problem wasn't good or bad. The problem for me was that uh, how general it is. Because what I found, I think it's very general. And it's like, it is an IT framework. Uh, but, but the problem is, uh, I see sorry, the, but the problem was that I thought that it's too general. Too general, although, yeah. Although maybe it's my bad understanding. Yeah. For example, like uh, Karima, uh, I mean, uh, I should be done by the Ministry of uh, Natural Resources and Environment. Yes. Okay. It's for the ministry level, and the ISP is very high level. Just coming up with a program issue and strategy. Mm -hmm. There's no information architecture. Mm -hmm. But that's for the ministry, that's okay. Because the departments below will use this strategy to develop their strategy at the lower level. So at the lower level may have to contain information architecture, you know, some detail. Yeah. So it really depends. This for this for me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. <laughs> so okay, alright. So I'll see you on uh, the exam will be on the fourth, eh? Next week. Prof, do we have a past year examination paper? Past year examination. That we can did, did I give you example last time? No. no. Okay, oh, I will... Is it available in the library or we can search? No, I can give you one. So I will uh, give you through email. I got your email. Okay. Huh? You received my email before? Yes, I, yes, okay. yes. I hope everybody is inside. Yeah. The email that you... Because uh, I did email you before, uh, so you replied to Yeah, me. I just replied uh, from the, you know, the logs. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, so what time and